Citizens of the Reject Nation, it is time to leave our reality Ooh. and go to another reality with Batman Gotham by Gaslight. You excited, John? I am so excited. I've heard, I've just seen the vibes of this, and I feel like it'd be right up my alley. I'm, uh, I've never seen it. I know the comic, and the comic is old enough that I don't know how much they'll follow this little Elseworldly thing. It's Mike Mignola, if I remember correctly. Okay. But uh, I'm very excited for an Elseworld. You lovelies know the drill. Let us know in the comments what you want us to watch next. Do you want us to go back to the Tomorrowverse? Do you want us to watch more Elseworlds? Do you want us to go watch Young Justice? What do you want? Let People us know. People love and that long they, Young Justice, been, That's man. why I plugged it. <laughs> know that we've been reading it because I see that a lot. So let us know in the comments below what you want next. Uh, if by now you've noticed we started a certain other animated show, click on over to there as well because I want you people to know we're watching the current stuff as well. So Reject Nation, dive on in, hit that notification bell, hit that like button, hit that comment, hit all the YouTube things. And as ever, thank you to the fine folks at Prepper who make this all very possible. They prep we deliver, and then they deliver, and it's all prep. Thanks to Prepper. Thank you. If you want to watch any of these in their entirety, including the entirety of the My Adventures with Superman full-length watch-alongs, head on over to Patreon, where you can watch it beginning to end and enjoy the artistry, the majesty, the illustricity of our resting faces. So over there at Patreon and become a super sexy reject. Without further ado, let's dive into... The Gas Lamp District. It's Comic Con, baby. Gotham by Gaslight. Let's go. Now, will we get a horse and buggy in the opening shot? <laughs> Is I that our mode of transport? It. I bet all of my tuppence on that or whatever the. Tuppence? Uh, we're going to be still word? in America, right? <laughs> I love that's a word. <gasps> oh, I thought. I got I saw a little. Oh, there is a horse and buggy. Hey, there, is, there, there is. Perfect. Very proud of that silly thing that just happened. You know, times like may change, frames. but things stay the same. I love gotta... in the train. Yeah, we're getting all the modes of transport. Guys, what are the chances? Like, this is literally, do they do this on purpose? Because that they is. They do. They know. They know. They have Booster Gold's time machine. They've watched these. Ooh. And they're like, those guys love <laughs> yeah, when we we're doing these just for John vehicles. and Coy. <laughs> the Gotham Gaiety Girls presents <laughs> Ivy, the Plant Lady. The Gaiety Girls. The Plant Lady. Kids, this movie's rated R. We don't know what might happen to those leaves. Ask your parents about burlesque and yeah. <laughs> vaudeville and various art. other <laughs> live art forms. We just don't know if fall is coming. Will autumn cause these leaves to fall? <laughs> it's rated R. <laughs> we'll see. Let's see those leaves fall! This man is demanding autumn. It's not what burlesque is about, by the way. <laughs> it's not. It's true. It's that one in the East Hollywood, that burlesque bar. It's uh, awesome. Jumbos. Jumbos, Jumbos Clown, Clown room. room. Shout out to Jumbos Clown Room. Beautiful place. Now, which DC character would hang out there? Lobo. <laughs> Lobo, yep. <laughs> and I'm sure the Joker rolls through once in a while oh, just yeah. because he's obligated. Oh, actually, I wonder if he's the villain of this. Detective Jack the Ripper, we never discovered him. That'd be cool. Oh, my God. I'm Jack little... Napier? Hey. Uh -huh. Ooh. Oh, wait. It might... You gave me a start. I thought for a minute, be lonely. I hate to see a man lonely. Uh-oh. I got a generous nature. And I'm sure you're generous, too. Ain't you, mister? <laughs> Going all in on this dialogue. Or maybe you don't want to wait. <laughs> right here in the alleyway, baby. <sighs> no! You took the shortcut through outsiders' territory. Oh. Gotta pay the tariff. Ain't that right, Dickie? Name's Jason, remember? <laughs> <laughs> They're all Robins. It's getting awful late. Don't go yellow on me, boy. Or you know what you get. Everyone is Ray Winstone, but is it Ray Winstone? <laughs> nope. I've, I've been down the show too many times, Coy. We've been misled Never before. Ray Winstone. <laughs> now pay up. Is the first Tim Drake really in Elseworld? I think we might have broken, boys. The bat. Oh. Ain't just a story, young one. Ooh, I like the Holy cloak. Shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Really? Yeah. I wouldn't work for that guy anymore. No, no. Real poor judge of action. <laughs> Vengeance. Yeah. Now you're in Big Bill Dust territory. Yeah. Interfering with my amiable cock robins. You're bad for business. Bad all round. 
iconic villain Bill Dust. Yeah, good old Billy Dust. <laughs> Love him. <laughs> oh. Ooh, Oof. dude. This is our family now, making something here. Taking something back from Gotham. Make something else. <laughs> you got no choice. You'll just chase us down. Find us again. Oh. oh, oh. oh. Go to St. Cadwalla's, ask for Sister Leslie. She'll help you. She'll hook it up. It would be nice to actually get a Tim Drake. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, like we did briefly, I guess. Oh. Oh, no. Ah. What a shot. Ooh. So has Ivy withered? They just murked Ivy right off the bat? Steaks. Mm. I wonder if we'll get a Harley because the Harlequin definitely fits the setting. Sure. Oh my god. Oof. Mm. Are there supposed to be from hell vibes? Oh, there definitely are. <laughs> okay. Definitely. Alan Moore influences here. And tears. That's what turned this dream into a magnificent reality. That and Bruce Wayne's money. <laughs> Capital. Money, money, money. This special preview of the Gotham World's Fair. Sweet. Cool. Meet me in old Gotham, Gotham. How much money does Bruce have? <laughs> yeah, this day built a town? I refer you to medical expert and Gotham's premier alienist, Dr. Hugo Strange. Yes. Ride the wheel, and I give you my guarantee as a physician and surgeon. You will live. How'd you make that sound so creepy? Women are being gutted in the streets like wild game, and the Gotham police stand twiddling their thumbs. Some gin-soaked women of the street have met their fate, as is common to their kind. As they deserve. Wow, bro. Those mutton chops. Women alike will be safe from... Jack. Oh. Jack the Ripper. Yes. That's what he calls himself in the letter he sent the Gotham Gazette. Sister Leslie, that letter's likely just another hoax. Oh, Sister Leslie. I heard about this little city council meeting and thought it was a good opportunity to see how my money was being spent, and all I see is sour faces. I like the mutton chop idea on his face. Yeah. I've seen the bodies, Bruce. Cut to pieces like an autopsy. Strange, the top man at Arkham tells us he's never seen this kind of controlled savagery before. What about Jonathan Crane? That could also be a Jack. Ooh, that's true. Our latest victim was one of our orphanage girls, Pamela. What? Pam. If I didn't have Sister Leslie when my parents... Funding the orphanage <laughs> is the least I could do. Your parents what? Pearls? <laughs> Where are they? Your evening attire has already been laid out, sir. God, Alfred in that hat. It's immaculate. Or redhead. James Gordon, <laughs> you've got a dirty mind, you do. My money's on blonde. <laughs> <laughs> Mother Leslie. Is she based on somebody? I can't think of a Leslie, but I'm sure the, uh, the comments will let me know when yeah. I'm wrong, but uh, nothing's coming to mind. The Elseworld stuff throws me just enough that I sometimes miss the obvious. That's good. Yeah, it's nice. I actually could just watch. But then they rue the day that I didn't catch a thing. It's <laughs> your job. It's your one job. It's your only worth in this <laughs> life, <laughs> Cole. As much as we're joking, like, I love the aura of all of this. Yeah, it's so pretty. I just love spending time here. And Batman just suits this level of gothic. Yeah. Now make the Elmer Fudd movie. <laughs> There's a Batman versus Elmer Fudd. It's delightful. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> <sighs> this ominous slow walk. Mm -hmm. Can't I'd be too controlled for Joker. It might be Scarecrow. Either that or it's somebody like we wouldn't think of. Oh, uh, an abattoir. <laughs> oh, sheeps. Cat like reflexes. I was going to say, you can't kill Selena. They did kill Poison Ivy in the opening. That's true. No, I was <laughs> afraid they're characters do it. Are, are, you know? Highly expendable. Ooh. Ooh. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> yes. Good sound design. Yeah. The fights. Ooh, it is. <laughs> it is. Ah, yeah. You just got porked. <laughs> Ooh. 
The old meat door. Trapdoor solution. He's more skilled than I would have thought. I don't need or want your help. And before you gallantly offer to escort me home, let me assure you I am quite capable of. <laughs> yeah, One you of the are. best uses of the disappearing. <laughs> yep. That was so good. This Ripper is far worse than the lunatic you're searching for. He's a skilled hunter. You ought to have breakfast with Hugo Strange up at Arkham Asylum. You can compare useless theories. <laughs> I prefer facts. I ran into your Ripper earlier this evening, approximately six foot three inches, 250 pounds, left handed. Rachel Ghoul? Ooh, well, it's very cabal. I mean, mm -hmm. goes with some of the conspiracy theories. Every woman in Gotham is in danger, Commissioner. A letter from Jack to the Gotham Gazette. We've convinced them to refrain from publishing it. Hide your kids, hide your wife. <laughs> this uninvited visit to my home will not be repeated. <laughs> this house is my refuge, set apart from all the corruption of Gotham. Yep. <laughs> Twice in a row, man. It's both great. <laughs> Excellent. The Monarch Ooh. Theater is where his uh, parents died. Oh. Through, shook his hand and said it. <laughs> John's other job, go, go. Auditioning, I'm available for chorus line. He's ready. He can can-can too. Wield a mad umbrella. I'm in love. Well, that's great news, Harvey. I'm sure your wife will be glad to hear it. <laughs> this is the 19th century. Don't be such a dinosaur. <laughs> Polyamory is all the rage now, Bruce. Kids are doing it. Make yourselves at home, gentlemen. I certainly uh -huh. hope not. <laughs> Just come out here naked in front of the both of us. On the shade of purple to mirror her 90s outfit from the Jeff Loeb run of Long Halloween. This is my club. We can catch a handsome here. I'd invite you in for a drink, but men only. At least we still have something. As it should be, catch yes. Catch a handsome? What's that expression I've mean? I've never heard that once. <laughs> We should Learning catch something new. Sometime. Catch a handsome. Yeah, we'll you know, we're going to a men's club. You're a fascinating subject. And what have you learned? You were raised in a small regional circus, probably in a family of performers. At some traumatic event connected to the scar in your left arm that you try to conceal, <laughs> led you to the continent where you reinvented yourself as a nightclub performer. Nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Sister Leslie Tompkins, one of the few people who knew me as a boy. She was the one who told me you were kind. She took me in, too. She takes in all the helpless, protects them. Oh, ooh. I've been a fool. Bruce, huh? what? Fetch me a handsome, quickly. Why did you say those I ideas? Why did you say those series of sentences? <laughs> Fetch me a handsome, quick. I now know less what it means. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a handsome is it like spirit a tool. Is it a, is it a, a cravat? Or some Fetch kind me of? a handsome. Gotta Google it. Marlene, what are you doing here? A warm cot is waiting for you, and you're out here in the cold? Ugh, you've been at the bottle. Nah, it's Batman. This guy's the old woman again. Is that Marlene Quinn? <laughs> Marlene Quinzel, what do you know? I don't trust her. I feel yeah. like it is a Marlene Quinzel. So this is it, then? Big, and I won't go hysterical. Sorry, I won't give you the satisfaction. Know this. I forgive you. Oof. Wow. Ah! No! I thought he was going to stop her. Stop him. Seriously. Bruce. Wow. Oh, I like that it's an attic instead of caves. Huh? Mm. See, up. The yeah, Batic. Yeah, yeah, the Batic. <laughs> it's a membership pin from the Dionysus Club. It was at the scene. The Batman will return it to Gordon after my analysis. And? This does, however, narrow the field considerably, including the mayor, Harvey, even Hugo Strange, virtually every wealthy man in Gotham. Testing your fingerprints theory again? Eh? <laughs> there are no prints. Just a few fibers in the fastener. If I could match these. It will have to wait. I've laid out your morning clothes. Eh? I have my own manner of mourning. Oh. She wouldn't want you to be alone right now. It's how I work best, Alfred. Is that like a bowl full of nugs on his head? <laughs> what is that right there? <laughs> how do you think he funds all this? <laughs> yeah. The original drug dealer. That's right. Of the resurrection to eternal life, 
to our Lord Jesus Christ. Bullock. <laughs> it was you. May be like unto his glorious body. Amen. Well, maybe it's like a group of people. Is it a Hugo Strange? Because we haven't seen like a Hugo Strange thing. I don't know. They keep He's making... so obviously evil. Yeah. Well, and Harvey was tired, and now Bullock was tired. Like I feel like they're making a point out of people who are being tired. <laughs> Mm, it's a weird theory, yes, but this, this Ripper is very tired. He's, he's out last night killing people, is, Mr. Lane. Handwriting is just laziness. Oh, I read your monograph on the habits of clinically degenerate lunatics. You believe their cure lies in mm. surgery. Ooh. You knew Sister Leslie? No, I came for professional reasons. To hawk lobotomies. It's all the rage. He is here. You know who he is. Pardon me, Mr. Wayne. The commissioner was wondering if he'll be coming to the memorial. Yes, Chief. I'll be right there. <laughs> I'm sure you could find a way to tell the Batman to come to my office Ooh. tonight, midnight. Ooh. Strange. I don't know who. Yeah. Strange is too clever for your own good, man. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> we don't take kindly to merchants. You think that's so Sister Leslie want you to act at her own funeral? But I'm hungry! Uh, Jason is not worth the trouble. <laughs> Cut him loose, huh? Are they just, they, they're all the Robins. Yeah, <laughs> Jason, Tim, and Dick. Jason, Tim, and Dick. <laughs> I occasionally have odd jobs that need doing. Oh. Call upon me Yes. Here. You'll not go away hungry. Instead of the Red Hood, he's the Red Haired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Follow me, Mr. Bruce Wayne. I recognized you sneaking around the churchyard. Uh-oh. If you think you can do me like you did, Sister Leslie, you're dead wrong, fella. Find me and skin his head. Everybody knows me. Oh. Or fuck me, you'll hang. Damn. <laughs> that went well. Walls are closing in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Who's got this special head cage? Hey, yeah, someone messed up. Man, Arkham's rough. Wow. You go straight into people in a pit. A punctual, even a bit early, Batman. These masks, the ones you choose to wear, they show the true self. Like in that Twilight Zone episode. Of course, you, you understand why I couldn't say more of them. <laughs> uh, we saw those wrists. We both know you cannot do your work on me. I'm not a streetwalker. That's <laughs> antithetical to your neurosis. <laughs> <laughs> you can't! Dang, dude. This is a tough one for Batman. Yeah, people are just getting killed around him. Ah! I want to study this suit, too. Did he throw him in the pit? Does he let other people kill him? Is he going to use him as some kind of example? Oh! oh my god! No! Ah! Wow. Wow. Like, do any of them look like anybody? <laughs> <laughs> that mask, I wonder if they're going to do some kind of, like, Court of Valsy thing with the Dionysus Club? Oh, interesting. I don't know. I mean, he just got the mask, but at the same time, I wonder if there are multiple Jacks. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. Batman moment. Woof. Oh. Whoa. Steampunk. Huh? Cool. Hey, nice. Chemistry. Ooh. Oh, yep. Police headquarters. The Batman has murdered Doctor Strange and escaped in the police airship. No. Oh. Different one. Yes! Whoa. Whoa! Dang! Very good at the knife. Yeah, I'm like, what other villains fight with blades? <laughs> I'm thinking Raj with the. He's got a, a scabber blade a lot. Nice! Yeah! Of the silhouettes. A cloak and a cape! Wow! This would be very cool in live action. Yeah. Yes. Fisticuffs on a blimp. Blimpsticuffs. Oh, oh boy. 
God. Whew. Right into the blades. Indiana Jones them. Someone's gonna get it. Ah. Oh. Indiana Jones and them. Yeah. Jeez, dude. Whoa. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Where are you leaping to, boy? We got him down to the nubs. Whoa. Crash like a Led Zeppelin. Oh, nice. Wow. Oh, Ouch. Ow. <laughs> On fire. Damn. Hey, hey, hey. I Batmaned him. There he is. Oh, jeez. No. Oh, nope. Ooh. He's definitely such a just a guy in this. Yeah. And what about the two men he just killed at Arkham? We don't know what happened for certain, Bulldog. We catch him, and if he's guilty, he hangs. But I want him alive. Jeez. I just want to study this suit. It's like he's got like a double-breasted like bomber jacket. Yeah, he's got like a cloak and then something underneath, and then the pouches are huge. Hey. Get in. There you go. Do your downtown escapades usually end with excessive bleeding? <laughs> <laughs> the belt and gloves must go immediately. Any of the fat accoutrements. <laughs> Hold, I say! Open up! Open up in the name of the law! They're making it. They're doing it. Yeah. Oh! Is there a problem, officer? <laughs> <laughs> no, Mr. Wayne. We've just been... Uh, you should head home. Dangerous characters on the streets tonight. Anything else, gentlemen? <laughs> you must commit completely to the role. Let's finish the scene. <laughs> Repetition. You must practice. Yes. Practice. Yes. Practice. Yes, yes, yes. The bad and the cat. Ah. Oh. This has even got my low key romance. It's, it's great. Bad and the it. cat and the gaslight. Loving it. The boys just found her. Show me. Ah. Uh, Marley Quinn. I saw the circus in the acrobatic dismount you used in your show. And then, of course, in your fighting style and the whip, Lion Tamer. Hey, just like you sang about. I grew up with those cats. They don't have anyone else to protect them. Until the Batman. <laughs> Does he have a story? Oh, you better believe it. Oh, your parents. Are you making them pay? The criminals? They could never pay enough, could they? Aww. Aww. Cute. Bruce Wayne, you are under arrest for the murder of one Marlene Mahoney. Who? Huh? Think hard, Wayne. Maybe you'll remember. I'll contact Harvey. He'll clear this all up. He's the one who suggested we look for Mr. Wayne in your hotel. Excellent. You can't imagine I'm actually the Ripper. Ooh. Get him out of my sight. Jeez. As the nature of these crimes is so detestable. And Mr. Wayne has ample financial resources to escape justice. Justice. Bailiff will remove the prisoner to Blackgate Prison. A two Harvey. You really are a two-faced man. Yeah. We were just chumming. We, we, we went and got a handsome together. You know what he is? Duplicitous. Oh, he truly a Man is. of duality. He is. Dichotomy, oh. all of it. He just wanted to know what a handsome was, too, is the problem. That's Nobody told him. Yeah. Please enjoy your stay at the Hotel Blackgate. <laughs> yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you check out. Haha. <laughs> In a body bag. Prison jokes. You think one of your friends is framing you? One of my mentors says that when you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Ooh. Unfortunately, my nocturnal habits preclude me from providing an adequate account of my whereabouts. Well, you'll just have to explain to Gordon that you're the Batman. <sighs> Batman has an ironclad alibi for the first murder. Batman's effectiveness depends upon... Every moment you're in here puts women in danger. If you won't tell Gordon, then I will. Yes, yeah, step up, bro. I'll be damned if I'll let another girl be murdered so you can keep your precious secret. <laughs> But I think ultimately you'll find this was all for the best. Love everyone's motivation. 
Yeah, that's a solid ultimatum. Bring this to my townhouse on Bell Avenue, and my man there will give you $100. Get it there within 30 minutes, he'll give you $200. Get it there in 10, I'll give you half a crown. I need a free pizza. <laughs> Excellent. Who is next? Who will face Bane? Cyrus Gold? Oh. Cyrus Gold. No weaklings. I'll be you in private. No time like the present. Hey. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Great touch with the stick. Why are you sitting on your asses? It's a damn Donnie Brook in there. <laughs> Irish Batman. Oh, that's so good. Blarney Man. I hope that was Bruce Greenwood just doing his best, bro. That was fantastic. <laughs> I was going to say, where, where, what uh, you know, lineage does the Wayne surname come from? It's got to be some Irish. <laughs> I need to see Commissioner Gordon immediately. You never slow down, do you? I can't imagine what I ever saw in a like you. Sounds awful, awful rippery. Someone is liable to get hurt. And sooner or later, you will. Oof. Real rippery. He's down at the fairgrounds making sure everything's ship -shape. The fairgrounds, hurry! The Riddler's gonna flood the fair. Incel Ripper. The Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's who it is. Yep. If you bet on every horse, you're gonna then win you're, something. One, one of those, it's gonna be no one. Yeah. It's gonna be Jack the Ripper. <laughs> yeah. I still say we take the wagon, the horse, and whatever this is, and skedaddle. We're gonna do the job, Jason. Now shut your bone box and push. <laughs> It's them three in a trench coat. They're Jack yeah. the Ripper. Yeah. Solved it, Coy. In your face. <laughs> Good job. Now go. Yes. What do we got? What's the tech? Yeah. I love this, too. This feels like very appropriately Batman, but perfectly out of history. Words right. fair. Blending like, those worlds together, yeah. Yeah. Ace. Hey. <laughs> I thought I was all alone. Embarrassing as it sounds, you gave me quite a start. Oh, I like them two working together. Selena. Oh. False wall. Don't, don't tell me. Is it Gordon? It can't be Gordon. I need to talk to your husband. Is he home? He's a good man. What? The best man in this horrible city. What? Did a woman come here looking for him? Walk in here off the streets? I should hope not. No. Uh-uh. I don't believe this. No. Oh. This this could just be his Charlie Day wall. <laughs> Look at them gloves. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. No. No. We liked him so much. Damn. Damn. I never would have predicted it. No. They totally got me. That's not bad, actually. We named everyone else. That's not bad. I, I should have called. The second Harvey started to be real suspicious there at so the end, I evil. was like, yeah, it's a mislead. <laughs> he needs to be severe. No, he's gentle as a lamb with us. He simply burns the sin out of us. Whoa, that is nutty. I suppose it's a dreadful betrayal of confidence, but I simply see no other way. It's in your very nature to play false with your illicit lover. Uh, oh, oh, damn. Oh, no. Oh. Yes. That's a cosplay way to have it. Yeah. No. A 7% solution of laudanum, 3% heroin and alcohol. Woo. But it is hardly a cure for poetry. <laughs> only I, only Jack, has the remedy for that vile ill. Wow. <laughs> Damnation! You'll pay for that! Oh. Was that a word at this time? 
Jim just invented it. He did. <laughs> He's a sophisticated guy. Jim Jack Gordon. <laughs> Tag the no, okay, fine. <laughs> Draw a cat. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh. bat bike. Sweet. It's like a tomahawk. That thing is awesome. Yeah, it's like made out of a piece of a train engine or something. The oversweet fragrance you use to cover your putrefying stench nearly burns oh. my eyes. Oh, oh we have a bat signal. Is. Amazing. Sweet. Oh, that's so good. Nice. Ooh. I love it. Yes. Very, very good touch. Oh, my God. And it's fighting James. And so, oh, <laughs> nice. so good. And perfect, like, smudginess. Like, yeah. <laughs> no. Nice try. What does a light in the darkness do? It draws flies. Vile. Like you. <laughs> Can't have no light, man. I promise the people of Gotham to clean the scum, thieves, murderers, confidence men, immigrants, illiterates, anarchists. A big old list. Not a great guy. Your corruption and decay will spill down over this carnival as a warning to all your kind. A man's is a real incel here. <laughs> Dark. Ooh. Yes, sir. Get him, Batman. Left-handed. Oh, the nuns beat that wickedness out of me. <laughs> Use my right. Except for Jack's work. Oh, Dang, that's a cool twist, too. My sister was ruler slapped by a nun for right and lefty. Really? Yep. <laughs> Have you any other injuries? No, I'm Bruce! Ooh. Jeez, dude. <laughs> oh. They do really make him feel like a prize fighter yeah. or like a, an ex-fighter. Oh! Ah. I'm a trained fighter. London prize ring rules. Me. There were no rules at Antietam, though, were there, James? Well, there are no rules in hell. <laughs> yeah, that's a bar. <laughs> Oof. The cool set piece too. With the yeah, Ferris the gaslight becoming part of the yeah destruction set piece. Ooh. Come on, Selena. Ah, uh. into the inferno. Ooh. Man, what a set piece. Yeah. Don't save him. I know you got to. Meow. Yeah. Oh god, but he's gonna pull you over. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Nah, man, you're stuck in here with me. Oh. Sweet choice. Whoa. I saw your work on your wife. They're the worst problems of all. Sell themselves too cheap. What? Whoa. This Give it guy. impossible to please criterion. This guy. Whoa! This is where we belong! No. It's where you belong. <laughs> <laughs> I paid Houdini $300 for that trick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. Amazing. Houdini, canonical, unofficial sidekick. Yeah, you know, helping out. Yep. Raz al Ghul in this universe, Houdini. That's going to be my Batman comic, is the adventures of Batman and Houdini. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Is he... What a shot, whoa. No. no. Cleansing fire. Uh. Wow. <laughs> Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what a trust fall. Yeah. Woo. It's a good thing that steel was Woo. soft. Never mind. Until um, um, it wasn't. Let's go. Bat and the cat. Let's feel the heat. Yeah. You should have run when you had the chance. Well, I was fairly doped up. What? 
My man. And the Robins. Yes. Where there's smoke, there's fire. That and family. there you'll always be, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred always clutch. No wonder Alfred's a constant. He's always a great character. You need him. No matter how big, how small. And then I love that the Robins are in this. Yeah. This belong to you, Alfred? <laughs> Good Lord, no, sir. They belong to you. <laughs> Sweet. Pick up Sister Leslie's work. Take on some wards. In a time where having wards actually might be less problematic. Oh, God. And the hope of Gotham with it. It was all phony anyway. Oh. We'll make something new. Something better. That's right. I well, like these kids. We'll keep them. Well, bad family starting out. Cool. Nicely done. Yep, Bruce Wheat, Greenwood and yeah. Jennifer Carpenter. Chris Cox is fun. John DiMaggio, a lot of voice actors. Yuri Bruce was Tim? Already dead. Oh, yeah. Tara Strong was Marley. That's why I was like Harley. Yeah, I was like, it's at least got to be a vocal tribute yeah. of some kind. Dang, man. That was intense. That was very cool. That was intense. Yeah, man. Absolutely. I mean, obviously, like the aesthetic choice to, yeah, set it in this, what is that, the 19... The 1800s is the 19th it's the century. 19th century, yeah. yeah. No, I just love the atmosphere, and I I really enjoyed the air that they because I, I I saw the runtime. I was like, oh, an hour and 17 minutes. That's on the shorter side, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, I thought this managed to like breathe very nicely while also feeling like I don't know. It had that like dark but fun aura that like an Elseworlds tale yeah. to me often does, and it didn't like hold on too long to anything because it was an Elseworlds, so yeah. the stakes were the right amount of high. Like, yeah. you, you got to breathe it in, have the fun novelty of who's who, and then, like, it dove into the story, and it didn't overstay its welcome in the Elseworlds, which I liked. Yeah, and it plays off of the associations you have, or you have, like, you know, Hugo Strange, and you're like, oh, he's got to be up to something. Yeah. But really, he's just a, another kind of person around, involved, but not truly you really significantly responsible or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, and, and, and the implication he did know who Bruce Wayne was is fun because that's one of the things Hugo Strange does in the comics. Yeah. Uh, like, the the playing our expectation of who it's going to be against, like, I really thought it was going to be Rosh Hubble. Like, because I, I was sure. like, the way he fought, the way, I, like, all those things was really fun as a comic fan to have this Elseworld. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Even the mutton chops. Rosh Hubble looks like he fits the 19th yeah, century. totally. I mean, that's the thing is I see something like this and I'm like, man, I would watch... I would watch a series set in this universe. You yeah. Know? I would watch those takes on, like, so many, f the potential for so many fun takes and adaptations of characters just, you know, clearly presents itself through something like this. And I really like the ones that we got. Like, I really liked the little Ivy inclusion. Uh, you know, Selena Kyle, I thought was really nicely yeah. handled here. Um, but also, too, I mean, for how, you know, compact it is in a lot of ways, it's not. I like that they also didn't go too far and like overstuff it with like that's a guy, yeah, that's every guy, single and that's inmate. Guy. You're not like who's a bit, who's a bit? yeah. So like it, it's allowed to be its own thing while also having you know a lot of the things that you want from this. Prospect. And the first Tim Drake, sure, finally. We, I mean, the Robin's Justice allowed for, for a bit. Tim Drake, he's a Robin too. <laughs> uh, but it allowed for us to discover new things like that, which I thought was exciting. And and I don't know, this was like. Really unique for an Elseworld because I felt the stakes were high enough that I cared about everybody, but it didn't feel. Oh, it is Mike Mignola. Hell yeah, yeah nineteen eighty nine. Okay. That was the comic, and he and he wrote like Hellboy comics. Yeah, and Mike too, Mignola's right? iconic. His art is so specifically him, and yeah, Hellboy's his big claim to fame as Father Callahan. Yeah, Gordon. Oh, okay. Hold fights on. Gordon into a Ferris wheel. Where Gordon? Yeah, okay. But where's Gordon's commission? Uh, oh, there he is. He was credited way lower. Gotcha. Scott Patterson. I saw the Callahan. I was like, what? oh, it's Father Callahan. I don't remember him. Um, must have been a small part. John DiMaggio was Bullock. Uh, Yuri was Harvey, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I love Bruce Tim got a cameo as Arkham Radio Man. He's had a couple. I feel like we've seen a couple of these where he's cameoed as like little oh, that's bit fun. parts and stuff like I that. I like that a lot. Yeah. Uh, but and, and two, I, I mean, again. Oh no no no! That was Barbara Gordon, right? That was Barbara Gordon with the yeah. With the, that's 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 the thing is is there are enough characters that you're like okay wait a minute because yeah it's like you there's like does Harvey always come with a Gilda? I feel like that I associate that character so strongly with the Long Halloween that like she's yeah. mentioned here and I'm like I usually think of her as just a Long Halloween character. Like I don't think I mean Harvey Dent pops in and out, but he's been two faced for so long. I don't think back to the yeah. Harvey days. 
Uh, also, <laughs> I love that Anthony Head was Alfred because he's so good on Ted Lasso. Is that who that it was? was? Ted Lasso's own. Of course, yes. Former my owner. Dude, Giles, yeah. friggin' him. Yeah. Did I you watch Ted Lasso? His name. Yeah, what's his name For, again? Uh, what is his name? He's the former owner of the football yeah. club. The, yeah, the yeah, enemy, yeah. the antagonist. He's, uh, He's uh, 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 there. He is the, the, yeah, Hannah Waddingham's yeah. douchey ex-husband. Yes, we need absolutely. we need TV. There we go. TV, TV. Yeah. What's his name? What's his name? Or yeah, Ted Rupert. Rupert. There you go. Yeah, that evil and, bugger. And the Repo Man. If any uh, genetic Ooh. opera heads are out there, um, he was so good as Alfred. Uh, yeah, and I like I lo- I never would have thought of that, but I love that choice. And even if we never got to see it live action, I'm like, oh, cool. I'm glad he's in the Pantheon. He played Frankenfurter hey. on the Piccadilly stage for Rocky Horror. Oh, that's exciting. Love this man more and more. The Dude. more credits I oh, read. Yeah, man. Anthony he's, had doing he, the work. He records albums. He's uh, he, he does musical stuff, too. Good man. Like, yeah. Good man. But, uh, I, yeah, no, I, I thought that was actually a really cool wrap-up to this, to have it be. B, Gordon, A, because I, I wouldn't have expected that Gordon is always a character, and especially through the characterization they had here. Uh, I thought that he was, you know, very... He had all those Gordon flavors that you want where you feel comforted by his presence. Yeah. And you, you like him generally. He seems like a guy with integrity, but I thought the reasoning they found to make it him as it pertains to this world uh, was well thought out, and it would have to be somebody who, again, they go back to that thing of like he's a sophisticated guy who's making himself look, you know, yeah. like an uneducated guy, and it's a him good having the letter in his own pocket saying that, that they're ever going to see it, yes. him dreaming of Barbara Gordon being hurt as a mislead because he's just having a nightmare about his own wife being horrible. Yes, absolutely, Clever. and like the way that it bounces off of the whole Batman thing is like you know he's got the playboy public persona, yeah, but he's out here you know in, in the nighttime. Obviously, you know, enacting justice. So then you have you know, like the reverse, the guy who in, you know, plain day is upstanding and is enacting that justice. And at night is, you know, bringing to life the most perverse, the most sort of crazed and zealous version of that. Yeah. Real cab situation. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, too, it's got that gruff kind of nasty, like, yeah, all the coppers feel like yeah. they'll just bludgeon you at any point. And like, I love that the only one we usually only have one cop we can trust in Gotham, and that's Gordon because he trusts Batman. And in this case, uh, it gets a very clever twist. Yeah. Because I never saw it coming. I also really like the use of the iconography of Gordon, like, I love that they use the bat light against him instead of he's the one using it. Like, there were just so many moments that are iconic Batman moments used really creatively here. Yeah, no, totally. Like, I, I feel like this this it was very gratifying in that way because, again, it, it had so many satisfying things that you would want and so many things that made me feel like I was in some ways watching, like, a classic episode in a good way not yeah you know sometimes calling something like an episode is is like a slight but i not thought here, yeah but yeah this this made me feel like i was watching the animated series at certain points again and i love the little sly asides and yeah having uh the three robins paid tribute to having alfred kind of bring them on of his own accord and we're on the wiki page right now just to get the cast but i see here it says uh referencing sherlock holmes they made the baker street irregulars into robins that is so fun hey yeah well and that's the thing too is yeah you've got sherlock holmes in here you obviously have stuff that harkens to from hell yeah and, and i think having jack the ripper is a really good historical pull for a batman story like this it's it's got so much mystique already He's such a larger than life figure you know much has been much ink has been spilled over the blood he has spilled and the alan moore stuff for comic fans like you yeah. said that run frame like there's definitely moments where it even ties into our mythology in comics yeah totally so like this and and the way it inhabited that world used the historical fiction, but also used the, again, Batman characters to tie it all around. I was like, damn, if these weren't all, you know, clearly fictional characters, I'd be like, this is kind of a solid theory right yeah, here. Yeah, like, oh, you don't yeah. well, I wonder if there ever was any theories that the Ripper was a cop. I bet there must be. There have to be. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like there was a foundation there yeah. in something. Because, you know, it's like, yeah, you, you have that whole thing about, like, he's got a, a, a knowledge of, like, sur- he, like, all of his murders are very surgical. Yeah. And they have at least a moment here where you see, like, okay, Gordon's at least been trained in autopsy. And they say, like, oh, these are, are sort of similar to autopsies in a way. Yeah. And, uh, and, yeah, it's like, I have to imagine that in the real case, like, I, I'm not an expert by any stretch, but I feel like they've, they've looked at surgeons or people with that kind of experience but they would have had to have looked uh at you know some kind of law enforcement or coroner or somebody like that i'm also really curious like what the i just wrote scrolled on curl response people seem to like this quite a bit but it, it, i'm very curious about how something that turns a beloved character this evil went 
Because, like, I sure. think it was very useful, but I know a lot of people are like, ah, oh, you can't train something that fast. Like, no, it's like an Elseworld. Like, that's the fun yeah. of it. Like, Thomas Wayne being Batman changes everything. Like, yeah. the Joker being Martha. Like, all those things. Like, that's what I like about an Elseworld. Not when it's one little tweak. When they go full tilt like this, I got to be fully surprised. Yeah, totally. And it's like he fought in the war. It's like, you know, he's, he's, he's uh, traumatized from, like, the Civil War. Yeah. Uh, so, like, yeah, it's, it's a great, again, it, it makes sense that if he had been put into that moment in time Mm -hmm. these events come together where they might not have if he is yeah of a later period in time like we're used to seeing him and this very successfully did a thing another of the animated movies we watched a while ago i think failed at remember one of the only villains i didn't like in the teen titans where i was like hey he's just an angry zealot and it didn't feel weighted blood i hated this guy yeah like all of his zealotry was like gross like the performance the writing everything felt like i wanted him to feel like yeah you just feel like the like the the anger and the like righteous hatred it's it's yeah it's that he feels righteous in that awfulness and i didn't feel that from brother blood yeah it's that looking down you're looking down on everyone as just filthy and and agents of you know idle hands of the devil agents of you know corrosion and all that stuff and and everybody he looks upon comes with this sort of scourge of judgment and uh, and yeah, like I thought they captured that psychosis really nicely. And two, you know, we don't really see him go to Arkham or whatever, but it's like it's in fitting with the kinds of people who would wind up there. Yeah. But also in a very, again, historically appropriate way, because you would have had, you know, the the very moralistic arguments and mm-hmm. the class based arguments and stuff like that. And which I like how they addressed and it didn't get heavy handed, but they were like put it at the top and then it stayed part of the like the fabric. Yeah. And it makes sense, too, because there are like, you know, it comes in varying degrees because because they touch on, again, the class angle and the idea that, like, oh, you know, if they were killing men, you would have figured this out a long time ago, or at least, and then people counter, well, you know, if it was affluent women, yeah. at the very least, we would have figured this out a long time ago. It's, you know, it's uh, the the women on the fringes of society who are being plagued upon and how people look on that. And I feel like that's, you know, a, a nuance that's very reasonable. I feel right. like any time you directly be like, he's targeting women because of this reason, you know, a dog whistles certain people to be like, yeah, so but this makes perfect sense and also, again, lines up with the MO of historical Jack the Ripper. So, right. yeah, having, I thought having that really strong Selena perspective as... She was a favorite. I really yeah. loved that her motivation was justified. I love that she would have Done exactly what she did at every turn. Yeah. I loved her origin. I thought the cat element was fun. Yeah. Uh, fun fact, Greg Griffin is the voice of Sister Leslie Tompkins huh? and Jason Todd and also Selena Kyle's singing voice. Yes. What a range of different roles in I one movie. Know. That's a uh, singing voice. And but, I love that we got a musical number. Yeah, like, full on, which told plot elements. Yeah, and a, and a, and a romantic subplot. Uh, again, that felt earned. Felt earned. It felt uh, natural and organic. And, and it I, fueled the plot. It gave him an alibi. It also gave him an out. It also gave her a lot to do. Like... That's what you want a true love story to feel like. And she also was like an Irene, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Sherlock. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, Rachel McAdams. Come on. Adler? Is it Adler? Yes, it is. She got to be like that stand yeah. in, which also is a really fun female lead of the time and dressed yeah. like her, but also nodded towards Selena Kyle's Tim Sale outfit, which is that purple. That might have been a coincidence, but it felt like that she had a purple. Well, so a lot of fun. Yeah. And with the 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 Sherlock Holmes, I mean, then you have uh, Alfred is kind of like uh, John Watson. Yeah. The true John Watson, not the bumbly guy, but yeah, the guy yeah. who's looking out for the well-being of Sherlock Holmes and facilitating, you know, yeah. his brilliance along the way. This was fun, man. I really dug this. Yeah, this this was terrific, and it makes me curious t- to go and read the comic and and see what that take. You I'm know, so glad I haven't read it so long because like, yeah. I don't. I think the Gordon twist is accurate, but I don't remember. Yeah, but I think that came out in '89, and I think I probably read it in like '96. Sure. Like I remember, I think I was like a child that had just discovered Hellboy, so I was like, oh, yeah, like, got to read all the Michael Hill stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. it would not be something I remember at all. But uh, that was a blast. Yeah, this was terrific. I really liked this a lot, and again, like such economical but also fluid, breathable storytelling. And, yeah, and yeah, like really great use of everything at this movie's disposal <laughs> thank you elseworld that thank was so you. much fun do we have uh any patrons oh we're gonna save that for uh, the next super all fun. right all right so. we're gonna be saving that so super sexy rejects pay t- pay attention stay tuned pay one t- of those t- things t- pay tuned to uh <laughs> our adventures with and of and about superman very excited to dive into more of that oh yeah uh and please let us know in the comments what is your favorite elseworld let us know if there's any of the other elseworlds you want us to check out do you want us to go back to tomorrow first what do you want next hit that notification bell hit that like button leave comments below and we'll be back some more goodness very very soon and let us know what you thought of this one because i'm
really curious with this more than most uh, how this was received because obviously we weren't we weren't there for it. So no. much love, Reject Nation. We'll see you very soon with another adventure into DC. Ta-ta.